When you want to customize the control of your fixtures, things like defaults or moving black timings, you'll want to turn to the Grandma 2's Fixture Editor. To get there, press Setup, select the Show tab, and then touch Patch and Fixture Schedule. Press Fixture Types to enter the editor. This new window lists all the fixtures currently patched in your show. Select the one you wish to work with and press Edit. This shows the channel breakdown of your fixture. Note that Coarse, Fine, and Ultra show you where each channel falls on that fixture's mapping. Fine will be used for 16-bit channels, and Ultra will only be used if the fixture has a 32-bit channel. In the next column, you can edit the default values for any of the attributes, followed by the column to change the highlight value. If you'd like an attribute to snap on crossfades, just click the cell and the console will mark the snap as on. If you need to invert a parameter like pan or tilt, use the invert column. The master column gives you the option to set an intensity parameter to bypass the grandmaster. The move in black fade column is where you can override the defaults and set an individual move in black crossfade time for any attribute. Profile is where you would set a profile curve, just like in the series one. Lastly, Mode will create certain behaviors based on common channels linked together, and these are largely already configured for you in the fixtures profile. On the right are links to different managers. Module Manager allows us to edit modules within a fixture, allowing you to create parent-child relationships, and this works in conjunction with the Instance Manager. For example, let's look at an LED fixture with multiple cells. Each cell has three channels, one each for red, green, and blue, and each cell represents one module. This one is called LED Cluster. Now if we go back into the Instance Manager for this fixture, you'll see multiple instances of this module. Each module is controlled in the exact same way. This allows you to group similar modules together into one parent fixture while still allowing for independent patching and control of any one module. The Wheel Manager is where we can control the slotted gobo and color wheels of a fixture. If you click Edit Row, you can reset the colors or gobos to match what's been installed in your fixture. This is especially useful when you've got your own custom set.